Today, I'll show you how I made this walnut and maple Bluetooth clock radio. First, I'll take my walnut to the miter saw and take off what I need for the project. Now I'll take a couple of rips on the table saw, first cleaning up one edge and then ripping our board down to final width. And then I'll do the same thing with the ambrosia maple, which is going to be the front and the back of the clock radio. First cleaning up one edge and then ripping the final width before taking it and resawing it down to about a quarter inch. I like to use these tall feather boards when resawing on the table saw to keep my piece nice and tight against the fence. Since I don't have a planer to clean up any unevenness or saw marks after resawing, this really helps with the quality of the cut. Now we need to cut the grooves in our walnut for the maple to sit into for the front and the back. We're going to use a dado stack and we'll do a few test cuts on some scrap wood until we get the right fit. While I apparently didn't film it, rest assured I found the right fit with these test cuts and then I cut the grooves down the top and bottom of the walnut board. Now I'm ready to cut the miters on my walnut case. So I'm going to set my blade to 45 degrees and then since I want to have a continuous grain pattern, I need to switch back and forth between the long side and the short side. It's great to have two flip stops so I can go back and forth. Set one at about 4.5 inches and the other about 13.5. Now we're going to sand pretty much our whole box. We're going to start with our inset panels. They don't actually fit into our grooves right now. It's pretty close. So we'll start with some 80 grit there until they fit. And then we'll probably sand the outside of everything to 220. Now I'll measure for the length of our final panel. Yes, I should have done this before sanding, so I less the sand. So I'll measure the opening, 12 and 3 eighths. And I'll just measure the depth of our groove, almost a quarter inch. We'll add that to each side. We've got our box pretty well dry fit together, so we'll take it back apart and drill our holes for the speakers, the control module, and the clock, and then we'll put it all together. All right, I have the locations for all of my holes, the two speakers, the control module, and the clock face uh, marked and center punched. So I have a Forstner bit to fit the control module, and then I have this adjustable circle cutting jig for the speakers and the clock. So I'll do some test holes and some MDF to make sure we've got the right fit and then we'll do our final pieces. That one's a good fit. Now I'll also drill two holes in the top for the handle.
Okay, with everything drilled, we're gonna do one more dry fit and then we'll clamp it all up with the help of some of these strap clamps. All right, looks pretty good. Put some glue on it. We're glued up and out of the clamps, so we'll do a little sanding to clean up the glue squeeze out and then try to round over these miters where they didn't match up perfectly. And here I'm just taking a chisel to sort of blend in where my miters didn't match up perfectly. Alright, now we'll finish it with some Odie's oil, leave it to dry for a couple days, and put everything together. And we're ready to do our final assembly. It's just going to be a matter of screwing on our strap handle, popping in the clock, and our speaker components and control module, and just connecting some wires. Be about the only time in my life I've ever actually had the battery I need in my house. All right, what do you think? Let's see how it sounds. I could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy. Don't wanna be fast asleep on this evening Better stand tall, ready for a fight